Alright, so like, based on my comments that I wrote there, I'm going to crack a beer. I'm just going to say, like, uh, okay, it's good, you know, and all there, being used and shit, and like, uh, not being the, you know, the kind of like preferred person in the family, but still having the attribute of like, the one who collects, you know, whatever from, like, uh, I guess, whatever people want, basically, in society, like, what people talk about, how they speak, and whatever, there. It's different, like, being, being like, a human being compared to an animal is very difficult, like, <clears throat> especially when you're competing amongst others, and I think that, based on the comments that I wrote there, um, I just wanted to put things into perspective for you, as to what we're kind of, like, uh, looking at right now, like, the whole entire country of Canada has been exploited, okay, and there's no more lies, there's no more bullshit there, so I don't know what's going to happen in the days to come there, there might be, like, some sort of enforcement, or I'm assuming, like, minorities will probably take over in the sense that they don't really enjoy the factors from otherwise, like, other countries, um, other than North America, you know, which we, in, like, you know, the economics and uh, what we imply as far as, like, our capital resources are concerned and whatever there to others. Um, I mean, other countries have an abundance of resources which are exploited for, you know, like, what I guess, uh, you know, I was listening to um, a song by Marilyn Madsen called The Beautiful People, right? And you kind of it made mainstream society because people sort of understand like okay I hate beautiful people but at the same time especially in this province I'd say like <clears throat> I can relate to it too because um, there's there's more of like a complex like formulative um, substance to it which has to do with what a hierarchy upholds like as far as people being used and exploited is concerned and I mean, hell, you know, like, minorities can especially relate to that on, like, I don't know, a negative eight scale of things, you know, and they'll say, it's good, you know, whatever, it's a good song, and it makes sense, and these people agree with it. But <clears throat> until we learn to understand each other, like, we'll never fully comprehend the understanding of, like, what pharmaceuticals are and how they're, you know, how things are controlled in society unless you are born here and you've spent a lot of time trying to understand yourself throughout life. Uh, to give you an example, like, <clears throat> um, I don't want to be specific, but, like, the fact that Canada, you know, exploited whatever they had to exploit with, you know, whatever it was back then for certain people, it's not generalized to everybody because some people live in, you know, uh, in different places, are involved in education or child care, things that I, you know, I don't know, like, I'm not a, a selfish person at the same time, you know, I'm the furthest thing from it, if you know me. Or if you've even met me, you'd probably assume that's why I'm still here. But, I mean, it, there's somebody who's going to come up and deny that, right? Like, there's always going to be that dude who's going to be like, that's a load of crap, and this is what it is. And he'll speak in a foreign tongue, and he'll try to exploit it for what, you know, his understanding of it is for, like, any other person who comes across you. And it's going to be the same for the rest of you, at least 10 other people I know for the rest of their lives, like, until the day that they die. And, <clears throat> you know, the fact that, uh, just to make it clear, like, what I posted about, uh, as far as, like, the high school next door, for example, or whatever the heck people are talking about when it comes to me, because I'm new in this neighborhood for now, at least, you know, even though I grew up, like, not so far away, I went to go play some hockey today, and that was fun, you know, like, that was actually a good day, and I was like, fuck those other, like, those negative vibes and stuff, but, yeah, I don't, I don't really have to debate on what others, like, sort of crave as far as their evolution is concerned, but, um, they tend to survive, and they tend to rape, molest, and reproduce, and whatever, which is fine, like, I mean, certain people have these aspects of life that they need to contribute to their society in order to survive, but I'm not condoning it at the same time, like the behavior I can't, and I really can't pay attention to it at this, you know, at the same time I'm saying it again, but what really matters in the end is that, um, <clears throat> you know, this isn't meant to appeal to like a lot of you people or whatever, you know, like you're not supposed to be impressed or say 
anything good about me. It's just so that you know that, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess as far as, like, the weed thing is concerned, right? Like, you've got people who are who have been wanting to legalize weed in Canada for so damn long, and we've got the War of Drugs theme going on because people have been, like, poisoned lately with opiates and stuff like that coming from China and all that kind of exploitation. And it comes hand-in-hand hand with the Internet, which, you know, existed before, you know, with the NASDAQ and the rest of it. And then they fucking blew the fucking sky towers away. And, uh, I don't know, like, <clears throat> you know, I've always gotten along best with people that I lived here on the South Shore with, but most of my problems are based on a lack of intellect or, like, comprehension for the English language, which is definitely not, like, what people from other countries prefer when it comes to the U.S. and economics and fucking all that war and whatever there. So, um, I don't know, to give you an example of the way that I believe things are going, like, as far as I'm concerned, people have not necessarily given me the chance, but they haven't been ignorant enough to, like, really, you know, fuck, man, like, I've never really attacked anyone who is weak, you know, for that fucking reason, and the problem is that, you know, <clears throat> maybe I was fortunate, but as soon as I hit 18, things all changed, you know, like, I was out on my own, and it was up to me to decide what I wanted to do for myself, and it's up to you guys to decide what the heck you choose to represent, and if you can survive without having to be influenced by social media or public media, because it's the same damn thing, like, it's just that it's increasing in numbers 10,000 times worse than it was, like, back when it was just, like, the news that you'd see on TV from your own country or whatever there, and whatever the fuck you're talking about there from day to day. I mean, you got, you got these, these animals who will attack you, right? Like, and you know it. And you do your best to, like, try to avoid it, but, like, when it comes to what's going on elsewhere and people coming in from there, like, it's just, like, they don't understand. That's how we survive so far. We'll see how far we can take it. But, like, a lot of these people who aren't, like, necessarily attractive, who have to become politicians, uh, who aren't necessarily elected by, like, a new generation status quo, such as a leader of what I think I am within myself here in my apartment, like your own domain or whatever from day to day, survival is the key. It's not chasing that fucking whatever they called the American dream or whatever they advertised because whatever they said on TV ripped off a bunch of Americans and like whatever, like whatever Canada capitalizes on as far as like our language is concerned is down south and like the U S like if we can benefit from them, all the better, although I'd never disrespect an American family because I know how damn tough it is to live out there. Like, it's rougher and way more violent, especially with their, like, fucking gun laws and shit. But <clears throat> you look at us now, like, I want to put into perspective the fact that things are controlled here in Quebec um, as far as, like, the legalization of, like, what you're influenced by, like, pot or whatever. Like, the old pot movement from the 70s is never going to come back. Like, that spirit still exists within certain people, and it's passed on through generation to generation, and it'll always be there. But, like, to tell you the truth, man, to be quite honest, like, yeah, there are pot stores across Canada, but there's a reason why, like, we can't grow our own weed here in Quebec. And you got to put that in perspective, too. Like, how the heck... Do you think that, you know, this province of ours, like, sort of manages a global economy? And why is Montreal the most corrupt nation, like, beyond everywhere else? Like, it's crazy like that, man. You gotta put that in perspective, too. Like, just think about it. Like, why is it that we're not allowed to grow our own weed? And think and wonder. Like, yes, okay, it's a good law. You know, it makes a lot of sense for now. But try to absorb it for the moment and, like, make the next step to, like, becoming maybe more um, a real Quebecer, you know? Like, mixed in with the rest of Canada and what's going on in the world there without really hurting anyone. Like, you know, I mean, shit, like, 
you got these different kind of people and it isn't racial like I'm saying the majority of people are kind of my color here and I don't want to go any further but I get along way better with immigrants man and that there's there's a real reason for that like I just have to put it to you that way like coming from me take it like or leave it all right later